Have you ever wondered what it takes to wiggle your toes? Probably not, as you mostly use this movement mainly when you lie down on your bed and are extremely bored, or to show off your sparkly new footwear to your fashionista best friends. Although this video wasn't made to make you a star on the catwalk, it will teach you something about some of the muscle movements of your toes. Specifically, the functions of the extensor digitorum longus muscle. If you take a sneak peek at the model on the screen, you can easily see and clearly identify this muscle from an anterior perspective. This means that the extensor digitorum longus is located superficially on the anterior or ventral side of the leg. As a result, it's part of the anterior compartment of the leg, and it's also the most lateral muscle out of the muscles in this compartment. Since anatomy experts enjoy confusing students such as yourself, this compartment has several alternative functional names. You can refer to it as the dorsiflexor, or less commonly, the extensor compartment of the leg, because muscles located here are responsible for dorsiflexing or extending the foot. In order to proudly showcase your new shoes, there needs to be a sense of excitement. Ooh. While I'm sure this will easily come to you, the only thing getting excited in the world of anatomy are nerves, Woo. whose job it is to stimulate our muscles. The nerve responsible for causing the extensor digitorum longus to contract is the deep fibular nerve, also known as the deep perineal nerve, which is now highlighted for you on the screen. Its fibres are derived from the 4th and 5th lumbar segments of the spinal cord, with most of the muscle's innervation coming from L5. As you probably know by now, every muscle in your body works hard to pull and tug on the bones that it is attached to, ultimately moving them. Therefore, if you can get your head around a muscle's origins and insertions, figuring out the movements that it's involved in will be child's play. As you can see on the screen, the extensor digitorum longus originates from three places. Most of it begins from the proximal three quarters of the medial surface of the fibula and the superior portion of the anterior surface of the interosseous membrane of the leg, which is this portion right here. A small part of the muscle also originates from here, the inferior surface of the lateral condyle of the tibia. As the extensor digitorum longus travels inferiorly down the leg, it becomes tenderness just superior to the ankle, round about here. The muscle then slips underneath the superior and inferior extensor retinacula of the foot subsequently dividing into four slips of tendon that travel distally down the dorsal aspect of the foot, continuing towards the second to fifth toes. Each tendon terminates by inserting into both the middle and distal phalanx of each digit. Now that we've finished with the attachments of the extensor digitorum longus, I'd like to take a moment to explain another muscle associated with the extensor digitorum longus. If you look closely at the model on the screen, you'll notice that right next to the extensor digitorum longus is this muscle, which is the fibularis tertius. I'm going to isolate this muscle from the extensor digitorum so that we can give it our full attention for just a moment. This fibularis tertius is considered a separate part of the extensor digitorum longus, commonly described as the latter's fifth tendon. The origins of the fibularis tertius are the same as those of the extensor digitorum longus. The pathways of the two muscles towards the foot are also the same, and upon reaching the ankle, they share a common synovial sheath that travels underneath the inferior extensor retinaculum. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.